All right, so I'm gonna be mounting a tire tube and rim strip on a spoke wheel here. This tire is actually a tubeless tire, but you know, with spokes, you gotta use tubes, right? Uh, I love to have a a, a, a tubeless kit, but uh, but there isn't a tubeless kit for this size wheel, as far as I know. You know this is a 12 inch wheel. Um, the tubeless tubeless performs better than than a, than a tube. So uh, actually, let me deflate this real quick. I have a valve stem here. Out of the way. All right, so what you need to do is I need to put on this rim strip, and then you put on a new. Whenever you replace a tire, uh, you know once the tire wears out, even though if the tube is good, you should replace the tube and I'll put in a new tube and put in a new rim strip because because these things do wear. Because uh, inside here, there's friction as you, as the tire is rolling. Uh, there's friction between the tire and the tube, and it actually rubs. And it rubs, it actually wears down, it wears down the tube. Uh, um, so you want to use, you know, you want to use a... Uh, you know, a new new tube. So you gotta look for the valve, valve hole right there. So I'm putting on the... Uh, the rim strip first. And this rim strip is to protect your, your tube, right, from, from the... Uh, um, from the, uh, the the spokes and the nipples. Otherwise, even though it's not very, you know, I, I put my fingers across here, and I don't feel any sharp points. Uh, but when the tube is pushing pushing against you under pressure, and it's and it's moving a little bit, it could rub, you know, it rub and it could cause a hole, right? Um, so put my strip on. Make sure my hole is centered. Um, center. So, okay, my whole center. Look at the strip itself. Make sure that it's also center. So it could, the strip could be off to the side like this, and it, you know, make sure that's that's center as well. Go around. Everything centered. You know, one one thing I forgot is I've got uh, talcum powder. Usually when I use tube, I like to put talcum powder, you know, baby powder on the tube. So that could, again, it has to do with that friction that, you know, it's moving. Uh, when you put talcum powder there, it reduces that friction and it actually helps. But I forgot to get that. So I'm kind of shit out of luck, I guess. Um, so I'm just gonna leave it down like this and put the tire on here. And uh, let's see, you have to look at the orientation of your, your wheel, which way the wheel spins. So this wheel is actually spinning this direction once, once it's mounted. Right, so yeah, you have to also orient your uh, your tire as well. So here's my arrow. So the arrow's actually pointing that direction. So it's going this way. So my wheel is spinning clockwise. The tire is counterclockwise. So I actually have to flip this around so that they both spin in the same direction. And here's the arrow clockwise as well. Okay, so I'm good there. Um, now I need a soapy water squirt bottle. Uh, this is the this is the secret here to making things. Easy. Well, one of the secrets. There's two. There's two secrets. Now, well, it's not really a secret, but you know, it's a technique. Two techniques that makes it easy. One is soapy water. Without this, man, it's, it's pretty much impossible to uh, mount the uh, the wheel. So I'm gonna squirt the the basically where the bead would be, where the bead of the tire. All right. Squirt that. Sip, sip it over. The initial, uh, the first side is actually pretty easy. What I usually do is I actually just hold this and put the rim in, inside here. Basically, kind of push it in a little bit. Push it in, push it in as far as I can. Uh, into the, the rim, into the, in, into the tire. Uh, and sometimes, sometimes, not always, uh, the rim, or excuse me, the tire will will almost automatically pop right in. Depends on how how tight of a fit up it is. It looks like this tire is a pretty tight fit up on this uh, on this rim. It's gonna be kind of hard, so I'm gonna use these. I don't have to use tire levers. I'm gonna use these rim guards uh, to protect the rim from from the 
from the tire irons because the tire irons, you know, this is steel and the rim is aluminum, so when you pry it on there, it's gonna mar, mar up your rims, you know. You wanna keep your rims looking good and and less damage, so this will kind of damage the rims a little bit. The only thing I don't like about this is that this is meant for a big full-size dirt, dirt bike wheels, so the diameter is a lot bigger. This is a small diameter, so so when it fits around the rim, it's gonna be kind of a, kind of a sloppy fit because the, the rim is has a smaller diameter, so it's the rim instead of, you know, the big full-size dirt bikes, it, it, it basically it match it mates with the smaller diameter is like that so so now this thing could could basically you know it's it's kind of a sloppy fit so so it makes it a little bit harder but it still works uh, pretty well I think uh, so right now I'm using my knees to hold down the two sides here where where the rim is is uh, between the beads uh, get my tire lever. Again, um, and there's lots of different types of tire levers or tire spoons, tire irons. This is probably my favorite type, uh, you know, the spoon where it tapers in. I don't like the type where it's just straight uh, because the, the, that type, it's just because of that straight where it's just the same width. It makes it harder to uh, to kind of wiggle the, the tire iron around. Uh, so I prefer these ones much better. Uh, I, think they, I think they work much better. Okay, I need a loop the, this side of the bead so it slips in a little bit easier so when you're close here I'm pretty close and you see the edge here kind of sitting right there it doesn't take much more of you know all you have to do is push it in a little bit and it comes right in there it goes that's the first bead so that's easy right the first bead's always easy uh, to put on and this this uh, Tire doesn't have a, a mark. You know, usually most tires will have like a little little mark uh, dot somewhere on one side or the other. It tells you where to line that, line it up with the valve stem. So wherever the dot is, you look for where the valve stem is supposed to be, or the valve stem hole. You're supposed to line it up. This tire doesn't have that, so I'm just gonna put it anywhere. So no big deal. Now I'm gonna loop the top bead now. Put the top bead on. Again, I'm sort of going to do the same thing. Um, use my little guides here. Right. Guides. Usually the first few ones are pretty easy. And I always use my knee and kind of just... Because the knee is what holds the, uh, the tire there from... If I let, if I let my knee off, the, the, the bead will pop back out. So, so my knee basically just holds it there. Just the weight. You know, just my body weight. And it holds it there. Alright. This side, I have money on this side. Alright, holds the weight, holds the weight. I'm good, it's in there. Get my piece out. So far, I'm only using one. And uh, I like to rather just use, if I could get away with just using one, I'd rather do that. Um, actually, let me uh, let me go on this side so that way you guys can see it. It would be better for the camera angle, I think. If I do it on this side. See that loop is what's uh, making this so easy. If I didn't have that loop, man, this thing would, would be like almost impossible. Just too much friction. You know, the, the tire is rubber, right? So it has a lot of friction. Okay. Let me get the other one. So this is the hardest because now I have less space now. It's going to be harder to feed this in, but it's still there. Get this out of the way. So I'm getting it pretty close here. So I could probably make this, maybe my, this might be the last, the last one maybe. Let's see. Almost right, right there. Just push it in, push it in. A little bit of body weight. There it goes, pops right in. Remember, this is a dirt bike rim, so it doesn't it doesn't have that the uh, the bead the, you know the bead uh, lock there, so so it actually comes on I think easier than a, than a than a tubeless rim. So I'm oh you know what I totally forgot 
Oh, that was boneheaded of me. I totally forgot the tube. God dang it. Uh, well, actually, since I'm already here, I'll show you guys how to take it off. You need to take it off. So that's boneheaded of me. Yes, making this video in the middle of the video, I completely forgot. So the trick of... So I have mentioned two things that makes things uh, easy. One is the lube, and the other one, the other uh, thing that, that people don't realize is that if you look at the rim, on the inside of the rim, you know, it's like, it's, it's cut by that. So, so if, you, if you're tired, your bead is just sitting up, up higher up, you have less slack. So it, to give the tire more slack, get that bead so that it sits down on the bottom of, the, of that channel. So that's what's going to give you more slack so that you could actually lift, lift the, uh, the bead over, over the lip of the rim. So here my knees are pushing down on this, this side. So basically it's pushing that, 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 that bead down at the bottom of the channel. So that way it gives me slack over here on this side. Right, then I could basically uh, take this out easier. So that's that's the other trick. So those are the two tricks. If you if you have those two down, uh, taking a wheel off is relatively easy. And here, I have mentioned earlier about the the the, the basically the, the radius of this lip protector versus the the radius of the rim. See how it rocks because this rim is smaller than the. Lip. Than the uh, than the rim protector. That's because this rim protector is meant for full size dirt bikes, which is like a, what is it, like a 19 inch or a 21 inch, right? So they fit a 21 inch or whatever it is that dirt bike size are. All right, so it's almost halfway off. That should be enough. Uh, with the with the lube, you just kind of pull it up, and it comes and it comes up. Alright, that's it. That's how you take off one side anyways. Alright, so... Tube. So let me make another video.